Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Gemskull and welcome to a Sims free play video where we are going to build Berkshire Pet Park over on Mysterious Island. We have built the carnival and we have also built the beach and what we've got left is the arcade and the pet park and I asked you in the carnival video what you would like to see next and you wanted to see the Berkshire Pet Park first so let's go ahead and click on it. So, so to build Berkshire Pet Park we need the Animal Fanatic Life Orbs and we need two bronze and four silver. It says bring your cats and dogs to the pet park and enter them in grooming, agility and behaviour hobbies or put your paws up at the on-site cat cafe. Oh, this adds a town value of 250,000. So let's go ahead and build that now. Let's add our orbs for silver and two bronze. There we go. And tick that off. There we go. That is building. That is going to take, oh, 24 hours to build the Berkshire Pet Park. The pet park has finished being built and this is what it looks like from the town map. I'm actually quite excited about this. Initially, I wasn't that excited about building this, but now I've got it. I'm quite excited. Let's take a first little look at it. Where's kind of the entrance? Oh, okay. So it's like got an outside bit here. This is really nice. What's this? Let's bring someone over to see what we can just interact with before we build anything. Oh, dog obedience grounds. Okay. Dog obedience is a hobby. I know that. So that's a cute little statue. I love it. And then we've got some areas that we need to build and then you go in here wow oh my goodness is this an area i think we're definitely gonna have to clean this up right i am gonna build what should we go with first let's go dog agility grounds let's do this first so to build the dog agility grounds we need three silver life orbs and two golden life orbs and they are obviously the animal fanatic life orbs that you need it says prove a pooch's athletic ability with this amazing agility course five obstacles await in this hobby including the tire jump, the tunnel, and the dreaded A-frame. Okay, let's get this starting to build. This is going to add a town value of 100,000 to the town. There we go. Orbs all added. And this isn't instant. This is going to take nine hours to build the dog agility grounds. Let's take a look. The area has finished being built. Ooh. All right, okay. Right, I've brought a sim over. Let's just click. If we click on that, enter dog agility hobby for six hours and two minutes. There aren't any dogs at the pet park. Go back to a sim's home and call one to the pet park and try again. Right, okay, so we have to get pets over. Obviously, that kind of makes sense. Let's continue building. We shall do, which should we do first? This one? This is the Cat Show Pavilion or the Nine Lives Cafe. Let's do the Cat Show Pavilion. This needs one Platinum Life Orb and three Golden Life Orbs of the Animal Fanatic type. It says, prove which cat is the queen or king of the catwalk with this cat show hobby available inside this handsome pavilion. So it adds a town value of 100,000. Let's add our orbs on. Here we go, we've added our orbs and it's going to take nine hours to build the cat show pavilion. In the meantime, whilst that is building, I've come over to a house that has a dog and how do we take it over to the pet park? I've no idea. Oh, if we just click on it, send to pet park. There we go. Beverage can't go to the pet park without a collar. Get them one from the pet salon located on the Simtown map. Okay. So let's... Who was it? Was it this one, wasn't it? So style this pet and we'll give him... Oh, I didn't even know that this existed, this place over here. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that you could do this whatsoever. So let's buy him a collar. We'll just get him... Oh, hang on. I don't want, I don't want that. Take that off him. Um... <laughs> We get no we'll get a red one because that brown one's a bit rubbishy yeah that, well, that red one's nice so 1500 let's buy that and then back over his house oh there we go look he's now got a little collar on and we'll send him to the pet park where is he oh there he is look ah right let's try and do this then so let's click on here and enter dog agility again for the second time for six hours and two minutes no dogs are happy enough Cheer them up by feeding and playing with them, okay? <laughs> oh no, he's not happy at all. Okay, I'll make him happy. Right, hopefully he should be happy enough after this. I've played with him for a little bit. Let's try again. Enter dog agility. Um, yes, that's fine. If you can forget about woodworking. Let's see this. Where's he going? Um, wrong way. This way. Oh wow, this is cool. 
Let's see what happens. Come on, jump. Is he gonna? No, he's not gonna jump. This is the dog agility grid, which is what we're just currently started. So win all 15 agility awards and gain access to the agility obstacles for your Sims homes. So this is what it looks like empty. So it looks like we're gonna win when we get we do the jump. So when we get collect all three of the jumps, we'll get a new obstacle that we can play on and then when we what is it called it's called the teeter board then we've done the teeter board we'll get the tire jump and then when we've done the tire jump we'll get a tunnel and then when we do the tunnel we'll get an a-frame and then we have to collect three more on the a-frame so i'm going to continue to work on this hobby whilst we're building the things so let's take a little look at the finished build Ooh, look at this right what do we do in here Right, so in here, enter cat show. Ooh, right, we need to bring, we can watch the cat show, we can enter the cat show for four hours. So let's go and get a cat. We'll need to bring a cat over like we had to bring a dog over for the dog agility. So it's the same thing with the cat as it is with the dogs. You need to come over to the pet salon, buy them a collar before they can go over to the pet park. So we're gonna take beauty over which actually she don't look very cute really does she um and we will buy this red one i think yep that's nice we'll buy that and then now we just click on her she is happy enough i think so we can just click on send to the pet park and we'll go over so we'll bring our sim over and then click on like the catwalk and enter cat show oh i've just got that <laughs> like catwalk cat show Ah, oh, the penny drops. I'm a bit slow today. <laughs> well, there we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Look how fast that's cat. Whoa. Never seen one of the cats run quite that fast. They are keen to enter this show. Let's bring over some spectators. We'll stick them in the stands. Watch cat show for 50 minutes. Oh, here we are. Let's have a look. It's about to start. I'm just gonna like brush him or her, I think with a name like Beauty, it's probably a girl cat. This is the cat show grid. What do we win for this? We win have the most pristine puss in Simtown to gain access to this cat run for your felines to play with at home. So we won't win this little cat play area thing that we can have at home when we complete the cat show hobby. Right, whilst he's brushing her, that seems like that might take a while before they actually go and do the catwalk thing. Let's go ahead to this part here and we'll start building this. This is the Nine Lives Cafe. We need three golden life orbs and two silver life orbs. It says, why drink coffee alone when you can drink coffee with cats? Watch your feline friends clamber around while your sims catch up on the week's events. So this adds a town value of 100,000 simoleons. Let's go ahead and add our life orbs into that again it's obviously it's the animal fanatic life orbs that we need so two no three gold and two silver there we go and this takes nine hours to build the nine lives cafe the little cafe is finished being built now so let's click on it and ooh, this looks nice let's see what can we do we can wait on tables for 10 hours Use the cat one. Oh, okay. As well as the dog agility and the cat walking hobby, there is also the dog obedience hobby, which is done at these grounds here with the nice statue that we found when we very first came over to the pet park. If you click on the statue, there are four different options. Short lesson, two hours. Obedience class, four hours. Daily study for six hours and rigorous training for eight hours. So I'm going to get on and complete the dog obedience hobby as well as the cat walking and the dog agility. I have completed all of the three hobbies over at the pet park. Before we check them out and check out their prizes, I just wanted to have a little look at this little dog pool area and use the dog pool slide because it looks cute. Oh, how adorable. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, so let's go through these three different hobbies and the prizes that we won. So the Dog Agility Grounds looks like this when you have finished the hobby and gained all the different items that you can do dog agility on. So here is the completed grid from the Dog Agility. So congratulations, the agility obstacles are now available for Sims Homes. Find them in the pet section of the home store. And this is what the completed grid looks like. You can do the dog agility hobby with both teens and adults if you would like. Let's start a new collection and we will just see what completing the hobby again will give us. So we go start new collection. So the next time you complete it, you will get five LPs. So the prizes for the dog agility, there is currently a sale on in the home store, so in the pet section. So I'm going to try and give you the true prices, not the sale prices. So we get a tired jump for 30,000 normally. Obviously, I'm getting it cheaper here. We get a jump for 45,000. Wowzers, these are big things. We get a teeter board that was normally 15 LPs, but it's 10 LPs at the moment. So it's kind of all just the things that were in the agility place at the dog park. We get an A-frame, normally 25, but currently 17. And we get a tunnel, which is 15 SP, but at the moment it's 10. So there are the prizes from the dog agility. Like I said, it's just all the items that we used over in the park. I think I've been calling this hobby the catwalk modeling. It isn't, it's cat show. There is a catwalk, um, a catwalk modeling, but that is the people version. This is the cat show hobby. So here is the completed grid. For completing this, we won, it says the cat run is now available for your feline friends to run a mock in. Find it in the pet section of the home store. And here is the completed grid for the cat show hobby. Not catwalking, cat show. Let's start a new collection and see. So the next time we complete the cat show, we get three LPs. Oh, and the cat show hobby can be done by teens, adults, and seniors. The prize from the cat show hobby is this cat run, and that costs 80,000 to build that. Can it be placed outside? Yes, it can be placed outside. And what about inside? Outside and in. Yep. This looks cute. Let's take a little closer look at that. That is really cute. I love that. Quite big though, but nice. Here is the dog obedience. This is going to be done by teens, adults and seniors as well. And it says, congratulations, the dog slide is now available for your Sims homes in the pool item section of the home store. Oh cool, we get that little slide. And here is the completed grid. So let's, oh it says, it doesn't say start a new collection, it says start a new set of awards. So let's click on that and you get five LPs each time you complete the dog obedience after the first time. And the last thing we want is the slide, which is in the pool item section of the home store. And dog pool slide, wow, that is 25 SP. It so annoys me, I've said it so many times that when the prizes for hobbies and things, I'm gonna have to buy them with SP or LP. I haven't got enough SP to buy that um, dog pool slide, unfortunately, but I did show you what it looks like in the pet park, so you kind of have a little idea of it. So there you go, that complete our little build of the pet park it has taken quite a while overall to build it and complete all the hobbies and I've got to be honest I'm not sure whether kind of the prizes and things are worth it I don't know I mean they're quite nice but they're not probably something that I am gonna use much in my town let me know what you think of the pet park and the hobbies and everything that go along with it down in the comments if you've got any questions um, comment down below and I'll try my best to help you out or other simmers may help you out down in the comments the last thing we have to build is this ice cape arcade which only is one bronze life orb and one silver life orb and it's the geeky life orbs keep your eye on the channel for that video of building that and looking at all the hobbies that come with it it will be a while till it goes up because it does take a while to complete all the hobbies and everything obviously but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Go ahead and thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye.